Hey guys, welcome to Happy Coding for Everyone channel. What will you learn from this video? Form validation. We will create a form validation example in this tutorial. Let's start coding. Let me add uh, some margin values for our body. Margin start 5 and margin end 5. Let's create our form. Don't need action. Let's create our class row G3 to create some gap between form elements. Needs validation and no validate. And let's create a div. Let's add a label, class name, form label, first name, and let's add our input, class name, form control, and we need to say required. It means you have to type something for this area. And we need to add another div to give some feedback to user. Class name, valid feedback. Let's add some notes. Looks good. Let me copy and paste that one. For last name. And let's create another div for another section. Div call md4. Label class name form label. Let's say username. And let's create another div for input group. And we need to add another class for validation. Has validation. And let's add a span. Let's add a class name. Input group text. Let's add a add sign. And let's create an input. Class name form control and that one also required. As you remember, we used sort of spawn in our previous tutorial, and uh, we need to add another class for feedback. Please choose a username. Let's add another div for term and condition agreement area. Div call 12 and div form check and the input checkbox and class form check input and let's add a label class form check label and let's add a text agree to terms and conditions and Let's add another div for feedback. You must agree before submitting. And let's add our button. Button, type submit and 
class name btn btn primary and let's add a text submit form let's save it and have a look at it see guys our form is ready when you click submit form it will not give any warning message so we need to add some javascript to activate that warning messages i will not type javascript i will just pass javascript in our project and we'll talk about it a little bit more it is not a javascript tutorial but i want to use sort of things in our tutorial because you may consider use sort of things in your own project let me pass our javascript here if you want to use javascript in your project you just need to create a javascript tag like this and close in javascript tag end of the javascript So let's have a look at quickly our javascript form we are creating a variable for javascript and assigning a class name which we use beginning of the our form let's have a look at it yeah but there is a small spelling mistake let me make it correct and also let's have a look at our term and condition area we also need to make that area validated too we just need to add a class name as we did before we just need to assign that class name for div and then also we need to add required end of the input so in our javascript we assigned our class name to a javascript variable after then we slice our form in this line and we are creating a event listener to the deck whether we click submit button or not and we are checking our form with that if statement and adding our was validated class name to show our warning message to user let's save and have a look at our project let me click the button first you see guys we must enter a value in input areas name let's name username and also i need to click that one too then you can submit form let's have a look at detail of class name as you see guys at the beginning needs validation our class name but when you click submit form it will be added another class name too see guys was validated class name also added to show us whether we have filled up form properly or not let's fill up form one more time name last name and username i also need to click that one and our form is ready to send and let's click submit form and that's all and our form validation is ready to use that's all for now thank you so much for watching it see you in the next video